Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already heard, there's a hurricane coming this weekend. I think, is it this weekend? I think it might be Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. I'm not too sure yet. It's called Dorian. And if you guys saw my last videos where I vlogged Hurricane Irma, then you know how hectic it was. We've already started running our errands. I have the list in my head of everything we need to do. And this time it's gonna be a lot harder because I only have one hand. So it is kind of stressful and it sucks. I feel kind of helpless. I've already reserved some stalls. If you guys remember last year, that was one thing that I was nervous about, but thankfully I was able to reserve some. Normally you could just keep your horses outside, but because Crystal's pregnant and because we have so many trees surrounding our pasture, a lot of loose limbs and stuff, I don't really feel too comfortable leaving them out. I would have liked to reserve them at a barn that's kind of closer to our house. Surprisingly, they were already booked. I was actually gonna wait until the last minute, book the stalls like the day before the hurricane arrived because it didn't seem like such a big hurricane it turns out it's already booked so I just like rushed over to a different barn and booked some other stalls so thankfully that's done that's out of the way now all we have to do is just go buy feed buy shavings get gas load our gas tanks find all our cow tags from Hurricane Irma I don't know what I did with them I know I tried to store them somewhere I'm gonna have to try and find those find our paint sticks I think I do have two leftovers but again I feel like I never organized them don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them but hopefully I will we also have to take the truck to to get fixed the little outlet I think is a seven-way plug the one for bumper pulls doesn't work we really wanted to use my trailer since it's a three horse to move all the horses so we make less trips so that's another thing we need to get fixed in order to use the trailer and use the lights and brakes and everything but first you guys already know the drill the routine <laughs> I'm actually taking this time to finish uploading like all the little details on my video before all of this happened I had filmed a video and I never got a chance to upload it or edit it because obviously I was in the hospital going through surgeries all this stuff so I'm very lucky that I'm gonna have something to upload for you guys before this hurricane hits because I don't know how the electricity thing is gonna go so I'm here hopefully I can get this done by today all right first stop is speed store number one we're actually gonna get some alfalfa cubes just for these couple of days and then we're going to a different feed store to get hay and we're actually gonna feed them hay the night of the hurricane four so we got the cubes and now it's time for the cow grain I'm gonna sit over here just cuz it's easier it's just an excuse to ride on the cart finally some chicken feed honestly guys this is like the worst time to have a broken wrist Seriously, the hurricane couldn't wait until I healed. I feel like I can't do anything. Anyway, now we're all stocked up on feed for before the hurricane and after it because usually there's no power for like weeks. Well, not weeks. Like last year, we didn't have power for like a week after the hurricane. So thankfully, we're all stocked up on the horse feed, chicken feed, and cow feed. All right, now we're at feed store number two to pick up some hay and coastal for the cows. A few moments later. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna do a little haul for you. I'm gonna show you guys what we just got. I got Levi a collar. His collar's all torn up and stuff because Nike always play fights with him and grabs him from his collar. <laughs> so I got him a new one just so I can put his dog tags and stuff on it in case of an emergency, if they get spooked. I highly doubt it, but if the tree falls into the house and they get out, like I'm, I'm just being paranoid and like thinking of the worst case scenario. But it's good to have, you know, his tags on just in case of an emergency if he gets loose. I can get my baby back I also got one second one second I got a paint stick you guys remember these I still have a couple from last year I think I might have one or two but I bought another one just in case because we have so many horses I have to ride on so I got a lime green last year they had a lot more choices like I could pick from a bunch of different colors but this year they just had green so I got green I feel like it's bright enough it'll stand out on all the horses hopefully aside from that we exchanged the propane tank we got some coastal hay for Penelope and Delilah and a bag of pellets for crystal now we have to go to another feed store and get the hay for the horses the actual like alfalfa hay so yeah I know it's weird that we're going to like three different feed stores to grab all this stuff a lot of feed stores have different things that we need so that's why we're like running around to like three different ones anyway we just got here oh this is in a feed store never mind this is actually an RV place and we're hoping they have the plug we need while Rob runs inside to check I'm gonna show you guys what the bed of the truck looks like it's getting full <laughs> we have cow feed alfalfa cubes alfalfa pellets coastal hay we have a lot it's getting it packed back here so this place Place didn't have the part we need to replace the plug so now we're gonna head somewhere else and hopefully find someone who can fix this <laughs> okay now we're at the feed store Rob went inside to go order the hay and I decided to wait in the car this time you guys because I know I sound like a broken record and I'm always complaining about the exact same thing but it's super hot so I'm trying to stay in the AC <laughs> now I'm gonna call the service center across the street they have like horse trailers and stuff hopefully they can fix the truck I'm not sure if we can get it repaired today depending on what would be needed but we can take a look at it. 
All right, thank you. The last of the hay is being loaded and that's it. No more feed store runs, like we're done. Everything is set for the animals and then we can focus on us and the house, getting prepared with food and water and making sure everything's ready for the storm. So we came to a horse trailer place to see if hopefully they can fix the plug on the truck. Look at all these beautiful trailers. but because they're a trailer place, they are a little bit pricey because this is a truck. So we wanted to try one other mechanic and that would be our final option. Like if the other mechanic is more expensive than this one, then we'll come back to this one. But I don't know if you guys can tell, it's pouring and the bed of the truck is loaded with hay. I'm hoping we don't get the hay too wet, but there's nothing we can do. Like we have to get it wet because if not, we can't get home. Right now we're filling up some gas and staying under the gas station shelter to hopefully save the hay as much as we can. This rain is not helping you guys, it's pouring. Like it's bad. I don't know if you can hear it. All right, you guys, so we're back home. We didn't end up getting the truck fixed at the trailer place because we found another mechanic that's a lot cheaper and he's gonna do it tomorrow morning. So we're just gonna wait for tomorrow. We unloaded all of the feed, the hay. Unfortunately, it did get wet, but tomorrow when the sun comes out, I think we're just gonna put it outside in the sun and hopefully it won't go bad. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you these noisy girls. Hi, noisy girls, hello. <laughs> They're all wet because it rained. Hi, little girls, hello, hello, hello. You're so cute. I actually reserved a stall for them too. So they will be evacuating as well. They'll be sharing a stall. So I think that's gonna be funny. I think they're gonna be the only cows there. I honestly didn't ask if the stalls were only for horses. I mean, they're livestock, right? I don't think they'll have a problem with it, but we'll see. Day two. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and I'm out here with Milo and Shaggy, but he's on the other side. <laughs> um, I'm actually taking care of them for my friend Sabrina for this weekend. Today we have a couple of errands, not too much it's not too busy we just have to pick up some shavings and today we're actually getting the truck fixed so that's our plan for the day <laughs> hi shaggy hi shaggy they're so cute so little and here comes brandy where is she there she is hi hi brandy hi honey boo boo are you ready for this hurricane oh my goodness look at that mane man what are we gonna do with that okay goodbye hey don't get near the dogs, you curious girl. Brandy is seriously the most curious horse I've ever met. She loves to investigate everything. Don't you? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get going, so. Say bye to the vlog, Brandy girl. Oh, before we go, I'm actually gonna show you guys what's broken. I mean, I'm gonna try my best. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I'm gonna try. So, as you guys know, we usually plug in the gooseneck trailer with this little plug up here, but now that we're pulling a bumper pull, the bumper pull plug doesn't reach up here, so we have to connect it to the one down here. But, this one is not working. This is not working. Um, so that's what we've been trying to get fixed. They say that all the cables and wiring works fine. It's just the plug, it's like old, so we're gonna try and get that replaced today. able to get it fixed because he said it would take him a couple of hours what we originally thought was wrong with it is not what's actually wrong with it so we're just gonna wait till after the hurricane and we'll bring it back and then he's gonna fix it for us but in the meantime he was a lifesaver and totally helped us out by letting us borrow this this is kind of like a, an extension cord so now it could reach the trailer you guys will see I'll show you when we're hitching up I think we might take the horses tomorrow or the day after but I'll show you when we do that basically this connects to the bed of the truck where we usually hitch up the gooseneck and then it's super long so that the actual outlet reaches the bumper pull. That mechanic was such a lifesaver, so grateful. And he actually let us borrow it, like we didn't even have to pay for it, so we just bring it back when we bring the truck to get fixed. So that's that. Now we're just gonna go ahead and see if we can pass by and pick up the shavings now. But first, we're stopping for gas. Luckily, the gas stations aren't too crazy like they were last year. We learned our lesson, so we're getting it early. <laughs> we already filled a jug. Uh, what, what is it called? The tank? We already filled the gas tank and now we're filling up the truck. Last year was intense. If you guys watched my last hurricane video where we almost rode Yankee to the gas station, it was crazy. It was hectic. There was lines at the gas station. Thankfully, it seems okay. I mean, I think it's because the hurricane is still like two days away, so there's time. Things can still get crazy, <laughs> but we're getting it done now just to get it out of the way. All right, you guys, so we're back home and we're testing the cable now to see if it'll turn the trailer on, the trailer lights on. Hopefully it does. Okay, so it's plugged in and now let's see if the lights work. Oh man, what is happening? No, they're not on. 
Let's see. No. Oh, you guys, the lights are not working. Now I don't know if it's the trailer or if it's the truck because we got a new cable, it should be working. So we came to the other trailer to see if it's the cable that's not working or the actual trailer. So we just plugged it in right here because we don't know if it's the extension cord or if it's the trailer lights. So let's see. No. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very faint. You see it? Or am I going crazy? And the lights up here are on, I think. It's just r really light. I didn't even see this one, yeah. All of them are on or just one? No, just this left one here. We're gonna take the original plug, plug it in to see if it's the extension cord. Okay, let's see what the lights look like now. They're on. All of them? Yep. They're all blinking. They're on. So it's the extension cord, right? All right, you guys, so it's been a couple hours. We've actually been home for a while, but we decided to go ahead and get the shavings when we go to drop off the horses. We still don't know what's happening. It seems like the hurricane is turning, so things are kind of like in a limbo, but at least we're prepared. We have stalls reserved if we do decide to move the horses. But yeah, we have the girls over here going crazy. I don't know if you can see. Hi, little cow. It's okay, so cute. I just want to pet you, Ming. But I only got one hand. What are we going to do with just one hand? You guys, they're getting so big. They're still so cute and cuddly. So cute and cuddly as you are. All right, so I'm going to go inside and put Levi's new halter on. I actually have to drill a hole in it because it's too big. But we'll get it done. Oh, and there's Pee, by the way. Hi, Pee Pee. Hi. What you doing? Hello. Say hi to the vlog. Everyone's interested in my hand. Those big old ears. Okay, bye. They're more interested in food because it's feeding time. <laughs> Eventually. Hey guys, so it's been like two days since that last clip and we haven't really done much just because I feel like we were more prepared this time around since Irma, we've learned our lesson. These past two days, all I did was just edit a video which you guys might have already seen. It's my new horse trailer. Oh my God, it's so foggy. Hold on. Okay, one second. Is that better? That's better. Okay, <laughs> it's my new horse trailer tour. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. So that's kind of what I did yesterday. We haven't really done much preparing just because we did most of it those first two days that I vlogged. So yeah, we haven't done much. I will catch you up though. We did fill a water tank and I ended up finding our tags from Hurricane Irma. I don't know if you guys remember. I had those little cow tags. I ended up finding them. So that's good. It keeps getting foggy. When it comes to the hurricane, oh my God, it's so humid out here. I am sorry. When it comes to the hurricane it has changed so much like this hurricane has been crazy it's like doesn't know what to do first it turned into a category 5 hurricane and we weren't sure if it was gonna hit Florida or just kind of hang out along the coast a lot of the reports were saying that it was gonna hang out along the coast but now thank God it's slowed down to a category 3 yesterday and now today they say it's a category 2 unfortunately guys the Bahamas was destroyed it's so heartbreaking because it's traveling so slow it just hovered over the Bahamas I think for like two days and it's been devastating like I've seen photos and videos and it's so sad what happened in the Bahamas There's been so much destruction. The water was so high I saw videos of people in their attics and the water was coming into the attic. Can you imagine that? That's so crazy I am gonna put some links in the description box if you guys want to help and donate And if you are in Florida and didn't end up using any of your supplies hold on to them Don't return them because I think we might be able to send all our stuff to the Bahamas for those who need help But basically for Florida it doesn't doesn't look like it's gonna hit we've just had reports of tropical storm winds and every day it gets better and better first we thought it was gonna hit Sunday then Monday today's Tuesday and nothing but the latest report says that tomorrow it'll be it'll be here but because we're more inland we're not in the coast we aren't gonna feel much so we've decided not to take the horses sorry again this is foggy this is gonna be like a continuous thing yeah we've decided not to take the horses as you guys know I reserved like nine stalls for all the horses and the cows but things have just mellowed out the hurricane has stayed on the coast it's even moved further away from the coast so i doubt it'll be too bad so we decided to just keep the horses here but we obviously have prepared in case of power outages we get power outages even if it rains here sometimes so we do have a bunch of water i'll go ahead and show you guys and today i'm gonna go ahead and write our numbers on the horses as you guys saw i got some paint sticks so i'm gonna do that now and i'll show you guys the big water tank we filled i don't remember if we vlogged this for hurricane irma i think we did for that hurricane our farrier let us borrow this big water tank and it was such a lifesaver so after all of that passed we decided to buy our own and we've had them sitting by the shed for like 
past year, year and a half, because we bought it literally like a month after Irma. So here it is. We just filled it up with water. I think we're gonna fill it a little bit more to the top, as you can see, it's right here. Just so we're prepared and we have water for the horses. It's actually over here right by the paddock, so we can just put water in their little tub. So yeah, we're really prepared this year. <laughs> so I came back to the truck to grab our paint sticks. And last year I started painting like this and I didn't realize that there's actually like a wax layer on it that you have to remove before you start using it. And I didn't know that, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It's super cool. Focus on the paint stick, beauty guru, hand thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and like start peeling this off so I can write the number. It's kind of messy. Oh my God, already, there you go. Last year, I didn't even know that, and I was like, why is this not working? Then I realized there's a layer of, like, wax on this. This smells so strong. Yeah, this smells really bad. I don't know why it smells like that. But it works perfectly for situations like this, where you gotta write your number on the horses. Thankfully, it's not gonna be that bad. Like, I seriously doubt any fences will break or anything like that. But just to be safe, if they do get loose, I want people to be able to call us and, you know, guide us back to our babies. <laughs> So I have two. I'm gonna go ahead and use this green one on the lighter horses, on the darker horses, sorry. Like Crystal and Dixie and all of them and then this orange one for the lighter horses like Yankee and Ziggy. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't know how I'm gonna write with just my left hand. Like it's gonna be really sloppy, but I've had practice. And because the numbers are big, I'm writing big. I hope I do a little bit better than I usually do on paper. But I've been practicing with my left hand, so. Let's see how I do. All right, so she's eating. I'm hoping I don't have to put a halter on in her and she won't run away from this. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. No, don't leave. Good girl. No, don't leave. Oh man, this is gonna be a struggle. It's not scary, it's just a paint stick. A few moments later. All right, I did it and it looks really good. <laughs> I can't believe I did that with my left hand, but obviously you guys, I can't show you because it's my phone number, but just trust me, it looks good. I did good. All right, now it's baby Brandy's turn. What side is away from camera? Okay, this side. I feel like I just forgot my phone number. I'm already running out. It goes down so fast once you start riding, like look. So I have to peel some of this off and bring it lower. Okay, hold on. This is a mission. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that I just had surgery on my wrist and I try and do like the regular stuff and it hurts, but it's getting better. So every day I am like able to do a little bit more with this hand, but I can't push myself because then I realize after I've already hurt myself that my wrist is still sensitive, but I need to do this, man. All right. I think I'm gonna forget about this because it's gonna be harder to take this off every time I need to sharpen it. So I gotta peel more of this off. All right, I think I have enough. Can finish on brandy. All right, brandy's good too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do all the other horses, but I'm not gonna vlog it because I'm gonna dirty my camera. Like my hands are already lime green. <laughs> so I'll catch you up with you once I'm done. Oh my goodness, sit. Sit, let's show them your new collar. You look so handsome. You look so handsome, bums. You do. Nike doesn't leave you alone, huh? You look so cute in that collar. That blue looks perfect on you, honey buns. Do you like it? Does it fit okay? Huh? Guys, it looks so good on him. Nike, stop. All right, you guys, I am back inside. I wrote my phone number on all the horses and on Penelope and Delilah. It was a little bit of a struggle because they're so small. The phone number almost didn't fit, but I made it work. I made it work. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. We're as prepared as we're going to get. And yeah, let's hope everything goes good. Honestly, you guys, it's not going to be bad here in Central Florida at all. I think it's just going to be like a storm, like a regular storm that we get all the time. Thankfully, it was a false alarm and Hurricane Dorian didn't hit us as hard as, as we thought it was going to hit. Unfortunately, a lot of people in the Bahamas did get hit so again check my description box for places to donate and yeah oh wait my notification shout out i always forget my notification shout out i'll pop it up right here on the screen please don't forget to like subscribe if you guys want to be shouted out all you got to do is just click that notification bell and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you've done it that's it i'll see you after the storm bye